Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back. Sending you guys so much love and light. Let's begin this message for you. Cancer, someone rising in Venus. We have the first house, Aries. So this may be about initiating something. It speaks about the physical body as well. An awakening. This could be a masculine energy, emperor energy expression. Could be a masculine here. Awakening, self-awareness, an arrival could be. This is beginning afresh is what I'm channeling. An entry point to get away, or get gateway. Okay, I channel getaway. You see this door that's opening in this card? So it is a beginning. It says here, welcome. Opinions, life, philosophy, and outlook on life. Some of you have a new outlook on life because due to an awakening, self-expression. We have a send, ascendant, an outlook. Okay, so we have two energies speaking about a worldview, mission, statement, expression. So it's an it's a new outlook on life. We have Chiron healing. You've done the work, you've healed. Some of you have done this transformation. Yeah, Pluto energy, Scorpio. We have healing and then a transformation take, taking place, which is leading you to have a new outlook on life, expressing yourself. It, it is a gateway, an entry point for you. Something to do with your body image at this time. An impression, first impression. So some of you may be focused right now on your physical. Okay, the outer self is what I'm channeling. The eighth house, very strong scorpion, scorpion energy, scorpionic energy in the seventh house so libra and scorpio partnerships the partnerships pisces is here someone could be imagining a partnership with you meaning how to come into balance this is this is the justice um justice libra energy see look i just picked up this deck the justice there's somebody here who's wise knowledgeable Healing, healing after a transformation. King of Pentacles is showing. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Two of Cups. You have a connection here with this person who's troubled in the Nine of Swords. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm seeing Aquarius. There's a new outlook on life, okay? It's the message I'm channeling here. I'm seeing Pisces. Self-development, personal self-development. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords again. This could be a Virgo. I see somebody here that's alone by themselves. Troubled. Why is this person, why is this Nine of Swords here showing? This could be a metamorphosis as well, meaning a dark night of the soul. I feel like there's somebody that's going through a powerful transformation. It says generational trauma. Why is this Nine of Swords here? You know, Scorpio, the eighth house, could speak about a Kundalini, the underworld. We have the Page of Cups here showing. The pages are messages. Look, it is it is communication. Eight of Wands. The pages are messages. What I'm channeling here, the the underworld. If you notice in this card, there's there's spirits surrounding this energy. Could be during the night. If you guys hear anything in the background, it's my dog. He's snoring. I don't know why he is, but he is. Someone here may snore during like loud, loud during the night. Libra energy, relationship, partnerships. Okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing here higher guidance, Taurus energy. There's higher guidance because somebody's evolving due to this transformation, death energy. This is you, Queen of Cups. You have a new outlook on life, okay? There's a mission that you have. You're on a mission. You may be on a mission, there's a new point of view, a body, and something to do with your body, your physical, okay? You could be going undergoing a transformation, physical transformation, where, where you die to the old self, okay? Chiron, healing, development, that, that, that's what I'm channeling. Some of you have healed some sort of shame, uh, sensitivity, and relations to your own self-image, we have your forgiveness for this Chiron energy, divinity, cleansing, softness. 
Okay, a lot of you have healed a pain, some, some sort of pain here. Nine of Swords that kept you in this Nine of Swords, Cancer. Look, see, Page of, page of Pentacles is I've, I've learned what I, I've learned what I needed to learn. I've been disappointed, but I, I learned a lesson with the Page of Pentacles is what I'm getting. There may be a child here involved. Page of Cups, this death energy, very strong Scorpio in the reading. There's a new partnership and alliance. I just noticed the two lovers in this card. I know I don't know if you guys can if you guys can see that. Number seven, number eight. May resonate. I'm seeing the hierophant again. Higher guidance. There's higher guidance here involved with um, someone who's who's feeling apathetic, meaning empty, shallow, bored, discontent. Page of Pentacles. I've learned a lesson. I'm gaining, I've gained a new outlook on life. This is really interesting how these energies speak about self-image, self-awareness and expression. So, so a lot of you are expressing now in a new way. Because you have a new outlook on things. Some of you were troubled before by anxiety. This could have been a past trauma due to, see Page of Pentacles wants to show, due to something that happened to you in the past. This could have been from your childhood. Okay, it says here, here inherited issues, self-doubt. So that is what you have overcome with this victory, Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is it's a, it's a, it's a new outlook on life. It's seeing things clearly, seeing things with, cl with clarity. That is what I wanted to channel. Something here about daydreaming, imagining. The mystic, the mystic, the underworld is the energy that I'm channeling in this reading. Two of Wands. See this person that's in a balcony alone, looking out into the horizons. I'm seeing a masculine in this card by themselves, thinking about this connection with you. 22, Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. That is soulmate energy, meaning union, 22, which is a four, four of Wands, twin flame energy. I feel like there's somebody here who's alone in contemplation of this connection could be a Leo. Seven of Swords, they cheated themselves. Somebody here lied. Was this honest? This person here is looking back. Knight of Wands, their inconsistency, being unreliable. Could have been a Sagittarius fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Seven of Swords. This is somebody who's reckless, could have been reckless in the past. Cheated a connection, Three of Cups because of other energies, third party gossiping, Page of Wands because of being immature. I'm seeing Aquarius. A lot of you have come into um, this sense of independence, Nine of Pentacles, the star. The star success. Why is this Nine of Swords? I'm going to change. I'm going to change decks, but I'm seeing the Two of Cups again. So I feel like this is a person that's troubled by this connection that they, you know, they lied to you. So therefore, they feel like this is over. That is the death energy, which is what I'm clarifying. There's a masculine energy that feels alone. This person feels like they're alone and they, they contemplate. See how this person here looks at the pinnacle? This lesson learned, I feel. There has been a transformation here. I feel like there's also been an ending um Someone's mourning this ending with you. There could be an apology that this energy wants to extend. Look, see, Five of Cups. As I just channel, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry about the past. Look, the fourth house. This could this could be a, somebody from your family. Cancer rules the fourth house. It could it could be another Cancerian. Yeah, somebody here is mourning the past. Look, Six of Cups, as I said that. It's almost like Spirit wanted me to look at this card. Six of Cups is somebody you've, you, you've known for a while. This is somebody from your past. Okay, it is a past life soulmate. Five of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay. I feel like there's this person or somebody, it's mourning the past with you, meaning somebody's regretting taking too long. They regret, they regret being reckless with you. Three of Wands, this energy could be at a distance with the Three of Wands. The Chariot, there could be Travels. Look at how beautiful this card is. This is your card, Cancer. Okay, the Chariot, Major Arcana for Cancer. Seven of Swords, look at this victory. Breaking free, breaking free from something that didn't feel, it didn't align. It didn't align with you. Seven of Swords is deception. 
and the chariot is a victory over deception i feel like this this is what uh, what has been transformed i do see in a new partnership alliance here relating it says here relating seventh house which is that justice libra energy this is new love for you knight of cups and this this my friends you guys have manifested this magician is a manifestation for you knight of cups look the temperance spirit guiding you sagittarius energy this is balance this is integration of two energies the temperance patience something you've been something you've been patient about cancer you've been daydreaming imagining the empress a new cycle is beginning for you this is venus energy beauty luxury abundance giving birth to new ideas a new relationship new partnerships and alliances Okay, this is a feminine energy that has that feels empowered. Look, justice and Libra energy. You've become wise. Okay, there's a feminine energy here who has awakened, who has transformed, and you have become wise. Okay, we have justice energy again, Libra energy. I want to clarify this nine of swords for you. I want to clarify this nine of swords. Give me one second, Cancer. Four of Pentacles regretting that they held back somebody here who held back in the nine of swords they held back from communicating with you i'm seeing eight of wands give me an energy for this nine of swords there's also a past trauma that's being healed that you have healed you might have been in this nine of swords two of cups this person somebody here's mourning a, a loss of a connection with you they feel burdened by this ten of wands somebody here feels burdened by this two of cups this person could be in overindulgence, drinking. Clarify. Let's see what this is. Four of Pentacles. They held back. This person here held back. Or someone's holding on, still holding on to this connection with you. What is this Page of Cups communication? Four of Cups is coming in from this energy in the Four of Cups. I'm seeing the Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles. They don't want to hold back now. Or somebody that doesn't want to hold back now. Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is showing with the Seven of Wands. There's something that you've been resistant or this energy has been resistant to see. Leo energy, two, two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. It's interesting how I said resistant to see. If you see the eye. There's something that... It's being shown now to somebody. I just channeled this person's thinking that they should have invested in this connection with you in the past. Six of Pentacles, they should have given to this connection in the past, but they didn't. They should have given to this divine feminine and they didn't. So what is this manifestation here with this magician? I feel like some of you decided to do the right thing and with this justice, it's, it's doing the right thing and standing firm. On a decision with the seven of wands i'm seeing the king of cups six of cups and we have the magician this manifestation is with a past life soulmate could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio king of swords gemini libra aquarius someone sees the truth about competition or something that became a struggle with the five of swords ten of wands a burden also with other energies someone may feel burdened by other people five of swords i wanted to win here just somebody feels defeated with this five of swords there could be trust issues as well a lot of responsibilities with the ten of wands meaning feeling burdened or tired overworked we have this moon energy here there's a revelation about you being made to this king of pentacles whoever this is this person may have earth in their chart taurus virgo capricorn there's a revelation about you that's being shown to this energy Page of Swords. You have a water water sign here from your past, thinking a lot about you. I'm seeing the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, the Six of Wands. There's confusion that someone could be cutting out, okay? Or maybe other people that they're cutting out. Seven of Cups, Four of Swords. There's a need now to recover with the Four of Swords. Magicians being clarified with the magician, okay? Gemini in Virgo, and look at what I'm seeing here. 
the Four of Wands. So there's a connection here with somebody, King of Pentacles, who's troubled. This person's troubled at nighttime by, <laughs> by their feelings. Not, not that that's funny, but it, 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 there's somebody here who's troubled. Meaning undergoing um, there's there's a change there's a change that is happening. It could be financial, okay? Because I'm seeing the five of pentacles. Yeah, five five. Maybe significant Virgo energy with this hermit. This person's alone. I feel like there's friends and family that maybe this person feels like that there's somebody who's in isolation, okay? And there's karma also with this justice. So six of swords. There's somebody here who's trans who could be transitioning. This person could be moving. Something here is over. Three of swords, five of wands, and the death energy. Seeing the possibilities. I feel like there's somebody here who sees the possibilities for a new beginning. What is this ace of pentacles for cancer? Six of swords. Like the same energies want to show. This person could have their eye here on sort of offering or traveling traveling meaning transitioning towards a new beginning is what i'm seeing here and that is what somebody has their eye on okay scorpio let me shuffle this deck four of pentacles what is this energy holding back from it could be somebody who's resistant to an ending i feel like this is you high priestess nine of pentacles celebrating your accomplishments three of wands the six of cups again and the two of cups cancer you have a past life somebody who somebody that's that's familiar to you six of cups okay and then i know that you guys speak about a, well it's the same i mean it's what it's showing here six of cups is someone you've known this is somebody that you've known offering this cup if you notice the cup is in the six of cups and the two of cups is this is somebody here who's offering making making a proposal here to you three of wands there's an arrival with this three of wands divine timing is at play here with this wheel of fortune and the fool is a new beginning the fool is a, a, a leap of faith i was going to say a leap of test or someone someone's taking a leap here towards this connection with you whether you accept it or not, okay? This person might have been, and this is somebody that has been holding back from communicating with you. That That is how you will know who this is. Now, this is if Pentacles is here twice. I feel like there's a transitioning going on right now. Whether, you know, this is somebody that's physically moving or moving on, mentally moving on with the Six of Swords. I just channel Already Gone, that song by Kelly Clarkson, Already Gone with the Six of Swords. So you see, you take the message, how it best resonates with you. Don't force a message, but I see here justice. Someone here might have been forcing forcing something and it did, just didn't work out for them. I see liberation with this fool, feeling inspired, optimistic about the future, feeling balanced, the justice about this new beginning or this pinnacle that's being offered to you. There's karma here also, but it's also, I've studied I've studied the situation and now I've gathered the truth is the message I'm, I've gathered here. I need to do the right thing now. That's what I'm getting cause and effect with this justice libra energy taking a leap two of cups feeling feeling troubled by this connection with you what is this knight of swords this could be a message that comes in very fast what is this knight of swords for cancer just wanted to show the four of cups you have the four of pentacles and this king of wands it's this fire energy that has been holding back King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Might have been due to money, okay? This doesn't necessarily have to be, but, you know, holding on to this connection, holding on due to due to finances. And finally, they feel liberated. There's a manifestation here coming your way. Coming your way. Ten of Cups could be a reconciliation, or this person could have been in a commitment here, or Mary, no, this could, it's, a recon it's a reconciliation. This is recording. Oh, my God, I just had a, <laughs> I just almost had a heart attack. Expect a message here, commotion or confession, pouring out. Somebody's coming in with emotions. Look at who it is. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be, but it's this masculine energy. Don't tell me now, Cancer. Okay, let's get some of these to end the reading. Let me know if this resonated with you. But, you know, it's the message. The message is the message here. See? Heartache over what you no longer have. Someone's in their feelings. 
advice from a friend getting advice from a friend i hope it's not their dog but maybe someone's getting advice from their friend or a friend that talks a lot <laughs> dog barking we have the justice here libra energy i don't know if i mentioned the signs i think i did we have all the signs here see it's somebody who, that sits in a position someone i was going to say someone that sits in a position of authority but it says here chair someone's leaving your life chair empty someone that left could have been could be returning i don't like to read these cards in the reverse but it did show in the reverse someone chair empty showed in the reverse advice from a friend is what someone here's gathering and we have this change this is the pluto energy transformation butterflies butterflies change for the better a spiritual development okay that's that's a message here a lot of you have healed it's a, it's a renewed sense of self enlightenment awareness and understanding and this could be you or this person someone is returning someone here is returning because i saw i saw this energy here in the reverse obstacles to overcome this person that's very stubborn extremely extremely stubborn and unwilling to change is overcoming obstacles interesting we have here change for the better so somebody here that was unwilling to change is change oh gosh can't i didn't realize that queen of cups was under that emperor <laughs> i didn't realize that you were here look at this pre-empress nine of pentacles high priestess which is you pisces also the high priestess listen to your intuition right now We've had two full moons in Capricorn, and I was wondering why they were so intense. The Capricorn is a cardinal sign. The four ca cardinal signs are which one is Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, and Libra. I'm seeing Pisces energy here also from the Five of Pentacles. It's new perception that someone has gathered while in separation from you. So the cardinal signs are those the four signs we've had two full moons in Capricorn um, so there's something to there's something here about a change but not just because of the full moon what was I saying what was where was I going with this message affairs with family could be of significance here okay so your intuition is what I was channeling pay attention to your intuition at this time with this high priestess because I feel I feel like some of you may be anticipating an arrival here so pay attention to what your intuition is telling you look you will receive a gift you will receive a gift this person's not coming empty-handed thank god okay so we have a box here you know that the, this page of cups if you notice the cup this person's coming in with a gift the cup's not empty so an exciting event something something here is coming you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life, okay? And that is important to know. Beware of great pride. So beware when this arrives, okay? Stay humble. So you are receiving a gift here. Look, this is the message I channel. A person or somebody who sits in a position of authority is who's returning back to your life, okay? This person might have left at some point, but I feel like the, there's a return here of somebody a new, with a new opportunity. This is Arcway. The Ace of Pentacles is an Arcway that this some sort of offering here that's being presented to you. Possibilities and paths opening for you. So this is what I have for this reading for now, Cancer. Let me know if this resonated. I love you guys. Thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. I'll be back soon with another reading. Until then, namaste.